think that the most special gifts are handmade. I wanted to make my own chocolate truffles and present them in a little box. I have chopped my chocolate into tiny chunks so that it will melt more easily. Now I'm heating double cream until it reaches a simmer. I have the chopped chocolate in a bowl with some butter and I'm going to pour over the simmering cream and let it rest for five minutes before combining everything together. I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I'm stirring everything through until we have a glossy ganache. I'm pouring the ganache into a flat baking pan so that it can set more quickly. I will put it in the fridge and leave it for at least two hours. Once it is set, you can start to make your truffles. Each truffle is roughly two teaspoons, so I'm scooping out and rolling them into balls. Then you can roll each truffle into toppings of your choice. I have chopped pistachio, cocoa powder, and two different sprinkles, chocolate and multicolored ones. It's very messy work, so be prepared. Once all your truffles are coated in the toppings, 
pop them back into the fridge for a few more hours and then we can wrap them in gold foil. I got these sheets online and they'll just make my truffles that bit more special. I'm going to wrap them and then present them in this little box that I made last year. And now for the finishing touches. Who wouldn't be happy having a gift like this, made with love? You know, I've just been thinking about my most romantic Valentine's Day ever, and it was back in 2012 with my new boyfriend at the time, and we went on a weekend to Paris. And it was the first time I'd been to Paris, and I just remember arriving and being just so amazed by this beautiful romantic place with all of the lights and everybody in love and just the beautiful architecture. Actually, one of the big surprises of the weekend was that he took me to dinner in the Eiffel Tower. You can, there's a restaurant high above and um, it looks over the whole of Paris and it was just the most romantic thing that ever happened to me, probably. And just overlooking the city, just a moment that I'll never ever forget. That weekend in Paris was also my first time ever having afternoon tea. He took me to the Ritz, and my life was very, very humble before then, and this was the most glamorous, extravagant place that I'd ever been. But I just remember feeling like enjoying the moment, not being self-conscious of maybe not fitting in, but just feeling like I was going to really enjoy this time. and. It was actually the first time that I tasted Earl Grey tea, so I think that's maybe one of the reasons why it's so special to me, because it brings back those memories. When I drink that tea, I can almost smell the smells that were around me at the time and the moment. I remember at the table next to us there were these two very glamorous Parisian women, older women with big hair and huge sunglasses wearing Chanel, and I just loved watching them talk and enjoy themselves. I think it's these little memories that are so special and um, what I'll always be thankful for. Even though we aren't allowed to have guests over for dinner and I don't have a valentine, I still want to set the table and enjoy the mood.
I am delighted to announce that the winner of this decoupage tea box is Vicky Coram. And judging by the amount of people who liked the comment that you left on the video, I think that everybody will agree that you really deserve to win the box. So congratulations to you. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and it's got you in the mood for romance, even if you're gonna be celebrating Valentine's Day on your own. Sometimes the most important act of love is for yourself. So do something this weekend that will make you feel relaxed and happy and that you can really enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again next Friday. Take care.